hear there, ladies and gents. Um, it's quite late, so I'm just going to be talking quietly. Um, as you can see, I'm creating a big mess working on my solar panel. It's, um, looks pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so, well, each panel has been stuck down with, um, hard to go, it's this roof and gutter sealant. It's very sticky stuff. It remains tacky when it's warm, which it will be underneath the solar panel. Uh, so it will hold it in place. Um, all these are running in series. Starting off with negative at the bottom here. Running up, up and up. Um, I didn't have bus bar wire. So what I did is I've just connected all the leads together. I had uh, the six inches, the excess running off at the other end. I simply folded that over and then put them all together. And again, I've done it at the top here. So yes, the wire's not thicker like you would have with bus bar. Where it's like um, three or four mil wide, five mil. But the wire's thicker in depth, so it can also handle current as well. It doesn't have to be a wide wire. It can also be thick, which I've achieved that by layering them all on top together. And then I've got my middle join here. Um, just here, again, camera's not brilliant, but there's a hole that I'll be running the lead from this side and this side down the middle. And then once I'm done really with that, all I have to do is put on the two ends to uh, I'll then complete the initial frame, and then it's a case of uh, when the perspex comes, sticking it to the face, basically. Either, well, I'll put a little bit of sealant down there to make sure it's waterproof, and again, keep it nice and clean on the inside. But I will think I'll be drilling it in along the way to uh, help secure it down a don't think I'll need that many screws, to be honest. It's only uh, two mil thick perspex, so it's uh, quite light for its size. And I guess that's it. So that's how it's looking so far. Um, I'm going to check the wiring. It uh, initial checks showed it's good, but you never know; things could change. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. Hopefully not as sunny as today, overcast in our respects. So I can do again uh, low level testing because I haven't got the perspex sheet, and I don't want to uh, <clears throat> fully expose these just in case. Uh, again, something goes wrong on initial testing, and then I'll be putting it in hopefully full brightness and uh, see how that goes. Okay, then that's how it's looking so far. The extension cord up on my bed, good old soldering iron. Only 35 watt, but I've done all this. I didn't need no 700 watt, all really powerful one. And uh, it's gone fine. It's got a little bit of flux pace there, that's for uh, piping. But I also run the tip, just swill it around right in the tub. And because of the flux, it picks up off here. I've always got flux on the end. Um, sorry, that's flux, uh, solder, sorry. I've always got solder on the end, so I'll just have to swill it around. Little cup of water there, dunk it in that, blast off any little bits, swill back around in there, and then carry on. And uh, that's how it's got so far. The back end for itself is, I think, either plyboard or MDF, one of the two that I've just sealed in um, first. Um, wood ceiling paint, which is the red. I can't really see it actually again. Um, it looks dark brown, but well, it's brown really. But it's not as dark as it looks on the camera. And uh, then I've also sealed it in uh, polyurethane varnish. Again, very watertight and it's pretty resilient. Okay, so that's the uh, little update so far. Um, I guess I'll be doing more once it's all up and running. 
chatting guys uh, take care thanks for watching and good night hey there ladies and gents back again and brought the panel outside it's meant to be 18 volt max but I am getting 19.55 that's insane. This is only meant to be with the amount of panels that I had at 0.5 volt each. 18 volts max. Now, what makes a difference is it's bloody overcast as hell. There's the sun. Right behind that. And I'm already reading up at 19 volt. This is open circuit, of course. Um, flat to the ground. Dogs roaming around. If they step on that, they are dead. You are dead if you step on that panel. <laughs> Good boy. Hello, hello, hello. Walk around, dog. Yes, that's your ass. But that's... I'm impressed with that. No, not to blow me on trumpet, but I did a bloody good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cool. Well, I've still got a solder in these wires more permanently. Um, right now they're just tacked by being bent in and initially soldered by the flux that is on. Uh, soldering is on the wire, but again, it's not good enough. But yeah, well impressed with that. That's a good reading, that is. Um, I think I might do a... a uh, bu -bu -bum, current reading under dead short condition. I don't know what to expect from this. I've probably done everything absolutely wrong, and I'm going to get naught point naught naught naught. No, me. Okay, so I'm just going to flip that over. And... So it's gone to zero, sun's coming out, dead short, there we are, 3 amp, 3, oh lovely, thank you sun, 4, 5, I'm definitely happy with that, that's what it's meant to be doing, and it's doing it. To be honest, I couldn't have asked for better uh, test conditions because if you can, you know, produce good voltage in this, good current, useful current, um, excellent, that's power produced on a day like this. This is really the conditions in the UK we should build our solar arrays to, the plastic, because this is mostly what we get. Over the past few days, it's been absolutely lovely with the sun. Even for me, I've got a turn. But, uh, yeah, mostly it's uh, overcast. Yeah, sorry, one amp or one point five amp. Um, is that on the eighteen volt range? So what was that? Oh, bugger me. Plugged it in the wrong one. Nineteen volt. Um, trying to do a little bit of maths in my head because it's crap. So, what is it? 19 point something volts times 1.4. Um, to be honest, I haven't a clue. Yes, my maths is that bad. <coughs> that's cold wind. Uh, okay, then, uh, that's been a little update for now. So far, so good. Still waiting on plexiglass, which is annoying as hell. But, yeah, looking good. I was going to fix it to the back panel, uh, which is on top of the little shed down the bottom there, and I'm pretty much good to go. Next little hurdle is we really getting the cable in the house. I'm plugging it in. Okay, then, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you later.